Come on. We can't stay here. Anyway, here we are in the strip club on. now. I need a minute. Okay. Let's listen for a second. Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <sighs> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? <clears throat> Let's have <clears throat> peek. Don't worry. Oh, fuck. <sighs> yeah, he's in Are bad you shape. Your fault? Let's just go in and arrest him. Sorry, Jordy. The trail leads here. Shit. And you still that killed two women. Me. I hope you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. I also want to take in the you crooked man's me. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Ready, Vivian? It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! I just want to take you in for you questioning. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're okay, told. Well, why did you do it? it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard Decide you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. Mm. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. Well, the both of you can go rotting out. You are out. still responsible, you even if the crooked blame. man is also not responsible. What I meant. I was just You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go Stay ahead and arrest in. me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. I also want to it take in the crooked so man though. Being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. I wish I could say that I also want the crooked man. But what was man. I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options, like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Then what? Hmm? Then what? What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die, you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What I do told you, mean? you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers. The spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? 
I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. Clearly you not have to understand. To Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day! No, Stop it! I told I'm not you. Gonna do Sometimes that. all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't can. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't real, Vivian. I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think really? I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Suicide. Don't! Uh, uh, Good Vivian! Good time, no! Damn. Fuck! No, 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 no! Well... Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. That's bad. But I guess she was just sick of it. I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh. He did still murder Lily and Fate, so he still has to come in for questioning. But the crooked man probably is also involved to oh, an extent. Fuck. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. He's gonna bleed out, isn't he? I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Why do you care? Shouldn't you be more worried Fuck. about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Thanks for the tip. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. I'm more sure human than not. That. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> it doesn't end with me killing Just you. Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I mean, I didn't want to make him suffer, but I just don't think What? You're just gonna leave me here. I'll send someone for your body. Both of you. Fuck you! Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Piece of shit. We don't have time to deal with this. We have to go to the Crooked Man. Because this whole thing is far from over. Unfortunately. <laughs> We only have just begun the end, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good way to say it, the beginning of the end. Let's see if we can find the Crooked Man. Let's 
so Shepherd Metal Works. This is supposedly where the Crooked Man is, huh? Let's uh, see if what Georgie said holds true. His limousine appears to be here. No one inside, I guess. Still more. He's here, all right. But he must be here then. Okay, I guess uh, we better just head on in. Let's go. Of course. Eh, couldn't be that easy, could it? Of course not. That's okay. We got it open. Let's see then. The Shepherd Metal Works inside now. We'll have to be on our toes because I'm pretty sure that Bloody Mary was with him. So this is where they've been sending these. And she was definitely uh, strong. So we'll. Uh, Want to be careful. I also don't know what happened to uh, Jersey and D. They might come into the picture too. Wow. Middle world. Big B wolf. Oh. The big bad wolf. <laughs> well, there's Bloody Mary. That's gonna be fun. You used to be something. Oh, let's look at the board first. Hmm. Picture of us and snow. Hmm. Not some fate. Wait, snow talking to Holly. Uh interesting. They used to fear you. What do you mean? What? They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. That looks like a gruesome torture weapon. And I feel like we're gonna end up with a fight against uh, Bloody Mary. And I'm not sure I'm in a good shape to deal with that. Unfortunately, that doesn't really matter though. Hey, there's a workbench. Anything else here? No, doesn't look like it. Let's check out your workbench then. Silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. That's really bad news for us. One more silver bullet would kill us. Oh. Uh. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. She's so ah, condescending. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? No, I mean, I'm not gonna fight proper to you because you're gonna try to shoot silver bullets at me and I need to get to the crooked man. You're clearly keeping me from arresting him. But this is bad. This is definitely bad. I can't see where the crooked man went. I can't see where she went. And so creaky and creepy. We're going more wolf by the second. Um, let's go up here. Cause that's where I shot sorry shell last. But she ran already. I don't even see where she is. 
This is not good, is it? I feel like any moment now we're gonna get attacked. Let's just slowly walk across this. I hope nothing happens. Oh, okay, that was close. Way too close for comfort. Let's keep moving along this then. Come on, careful now, Bigby. We can make it. Just step by step. I'm not even sure if I'm blocking these right. I feel like I'm not. I definitely did that last one. Come out and face me! Oh. Oh, that's... That's creepy. That That is very, very creepy. What happened? What is wrong with her? Well, oh, okay, that, that's no good. She is dodging all her attacks. Let's try again then. Nope. Still missing and kicking us in the face. Let's dodge that at least. Or we are dead. Mm, things should not be moving here. Things should not be moving here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Come on. I need to... Okay, I did it. I was afraid I had died there for a second, but no. We did turn full wolf though. That's not really what Snow wanted. But really, sometimes it just can't be avoided. And this girl is not stopped. The Corbinan is still alive and we needed to take him in alive, so... I guess we're still doing that. Oh! Oh, there's a lot of these! So you have clones. Well, that sure makes this less fair. And less fun. Let's uh, start trying to take these ones out then. There's way too many of these. Oh, no, we got it. What? Okay, come on, let's try and take these out. Oh, no, that hurts. Please don't do that. Oh no, you're hurting me very much. Come on, stop hurting me. Uh, this is not fair. There's way too many of them. And way too few of me. Let's go, take it off. I need to take them out too, because I'm not really taking them out. I'm just slightly hurting them. And they are definitely not hurting me. Uh, this definitely looks really, really bad for me right now. Let's go do some super attack. Okay, yellow eyes. Ooh, you went full. That ass now. Ooh, yeah. That. Mmm. That just shattered you, didn't it? Oh, ripping off your leg. Shattering you into glass. Okay, well, let's break you off and crush you. There's so many of them. We have to just crush all of them. They're, they're just made of glass now. They're, they're just glass copies. So we're not really killing anyone, I guess. Because they're just copies. Can we even reach this? Or are we going to keep on screwing up? Okay. That was just rude. Don't put a pipe in my mouth. Let's spit that out. Of me. Or just eat you. Yeah, just eat your head off. I do like this one. It is really, really badass. Let's go. Swipe. Swipe left, because I don't want to match you on Tinder. Is that swipe left or is it swipe right? I've never actually used Tinder. Doesn't matter though, because we're going to go for a big old roar. And blow all of you away. Come on, just show me the real one. I don't need to deal with all your clones. Take that wolf's breath is gonna blow the house and the only one that must be the real one. Very nimble and swift still. Can we take her out? What is with all those shards in there? Though? That, that definitely looks super creepy. Okay, well, we'll crush you. 
Oh, you're gonna... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no, you shattered in time. Phew, that would have left us blind if she stabbed us in the eye with that. No, good thing uh, we survived. And Bigby goes back to himself. Well, that was something, all right. <laughs> Definitely not what I expected, that we would become a full-on wolf. You know, other than just a werewolf kind of guy, but... I guess, uh, extreme situations cause... extreme measures. Let's, uh, head inside. See if the Crooked Man is still here. Oh, he is. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Little Give me bit. one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before mm. you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Well, that's the plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? I guess Look, I can. There's right? no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Okay. Talk. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. It's really simple. I I'm bringing you in. The point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Come on, you're why are you stepping backwards? And I worry you're not thinking of the. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Mm, it's about because Fable Town. two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. Yeah, but he says you told He's him to. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. Not yet. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Hmm. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. Are we not? How unfortunate. Oh, I, I actually wanted this to. Work. Well, let's hope we can. What are you gonna do still now? Him Rip me apart like some kind of animal. Killing me here would achieve nothing. That's and what not what would I want to do. White think? You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. But I'm not having him take me in with that gun pointed at me. I don't like that. Nope. I'm the policeman and he's gonna have to listen to me. <laughs>